there, soapy people. Casey here working on a batch of gardener soap. I have the oils in here cooking. They're starting to cook. I've gotten it to thick trace and I cover, instead of using my crock pot lid, I use saran wrap and I'll explain why later on. I have, I'm going to make it a gardener soap, so I've got in here grits and oat flour and what I did was pull some of the oils from my base oils and made a mash or a slurry sort of to make the oat flour and grits, I believe corn grits, um, easier to add at the end of cook. So here you have it right now. We are cooking. As you can see, it's bubbling around the edges here. I'm going to cover it up and be back shortly. Here we are at the applesauce stage now. Um, it's 15 minutes later and I'm stirring it down. As you can see, it looks like applesauce. Not applesauce you want to eat, but <laughs> definitely an applesauce looking thing. So that's HP applesauce stage, HP soap at the applesauce stage, and I will let it cook a little longer and come back and see what we have um, in a few more minutes. This is in, in 15 minutes into cook on our way to gardener's soap. It is 15 minutes later, and I have zap tested and taken a piece, a cool piece, to wash with and zap test the bubbles that way. And it's soap. Uh, I'm not. Sh I, I always get amazed by this uh, crock pot. It's one of the newer ones I have, and it cooks in a flash. 30 minutes from no, 45 minutes actually, from start uh, of the oils to heating in here to adding the lye to cook. All right, I'm going to finish now with adding the mash of the. The oils I subtracted to make a mash of the grits and the oat flour. I think I'm going to leave it unscented. I hope I'm going to leave it unscented, but <laughs> I may not. So uh, I'll be back shortly. the gate. I took the tape off to save your ears. And let's peel this down here. I'm going to use a taping knife. Yeah, let's use a taping knife. There we go. And I got some pink on there tonight. Okay. So, this is my gardener soap. There it is. There's my mold again, ready to ready to rock and roll going to cut a couple of, um, of the gardener's soaps of the garden. <laughs> garden. Okay. I made this, this is my first time making a gardener's soap. I have made soap with oatmeal, crushed oatmeal, but this has oat flour and grits. Um, Uncooked grits, kind of. <laughs> remember the movie My Cousin Vinny and the Grit Defense? It made me think of that when I um, bought these grits for the soap. So I'm gonna cut about an inch here. I, got, I have my markings on my little cheese cutter, and I've got it at a. I should probably actually pull it back and do a take off the end here. So I'll do that first. And I, as I say, I hot processed this earlier today and it's already, um, it's uh, solid and uh, ready to rock and roll. So I'll cut a couple of one inch slabs here. Oops. I'm going to try to cut it on its side just to see what happens. 
go hold it there you go my gardener soap up close you can see see the grits see the grits Joe Pesci these grits are for you for the grit defense <laughs> um, I have I scraped out my crock pot which to me is always a treat it, it, it's kind of like when you make a cake and you scrape the bowl to lick the batter well you don't lick the batter of the soap but you the beauty of crock potting is that you can scrape the sides and put together a, a ball of soap and go and test it right then and there and that's what I did and I will admit that it is lightly exfoliating so much so that I actually used it on my face because I wanted to know how scrubby it was and I while I could feel it exfoliating I could feel the exfoliating grit beads there um, it wasn't irritating and my face when I rinsed it felt like a million dollars <laughs> it felt like a million a gazillion dollars it was very smooth felt moisturized without adding moisture uh, without adding a moisture or a lotion to it and so I think I'm going to uh, like this um, this uh, gardeners mechanics all over gentle exfoliation soap. There you have it. There's my little pink there from my other one. So, um, for my little seven ounce, seven inch Corplast, I got six nice size bars and a little sample bar and I'll let them dry out, put them on a rack and dry them out. And I'm, I kind of like the whole rough, rugged, pioneer top not smooth. Yeah, I like keeping it non-corporate looking. <laughs> so there you have it. Soaps are cut. Gonna set them out to dry and get started on another batch. Thanks for watching all. Have a good one.